My voice gives out. and the towns you'll find a place where you can speak your lecture for days or even for weeks in churches barns and even in the fields you'll keep at it until your efforts yield a new 
anti-slavery society. Then you'll move on. I will teach you all you need to know. Facts and figures, proof to show. Rebuttals of every category. And above all, how to tell a good story. Elijah Lovejoy was murdered by a pro-slavery crowd. What do we do if our lives are threatened? We will only send you to places where we have friends who can protect you. Mr. Weld, what do we do if hostiles in the crowd yell so loud we can't be heard? Cross your arms over your chest, look unimpressed, and wait them out. Never show fear. I hear you've done that for days until the crowd settled. Yes. And I always have a change of clothes along in case they bomb me with skunk juice. Skunk juice! Stop! Mr. Weld, my sister cannot do these dangerous things. We have been discussing the men's work, Miss Grimke. You women have a different job to do. Please tell us. You will go to the cities, to the parlors in the homes, and speak to groups of women. By your earnest and knowledgeable powers of persuasion, you will win them to our cause. We need the women, Mrs. Grimke. And no matter what some people say, it is the expression of her nature.
signatures. 15,000. That's not enough. We have to work hard. Work hard. Work hard. Sarah and Angelina quickly became so popular that they outgrew the parlors in which they were to speak. The sisters were no longer women speaking in private. They had stepped out of women's sphere and were now public reformers. Why do we work in the North and not the South? All of Southern culture supports and reinforces the right of Southerners to own other human beings. Here in the North, though, many minds are open. Supplied with truthful, accurate information, Northerners cannot fail to see the sinful nature of slavery. And you must examine yourselves to discover the influence that slavery has had even here. Every college for blacks denied. Every railway passage, public dining room, or church pew denied. Don't you think that the southern, oppres southern oppressor discerns in these things the very same spirit which leads them to degrade and brutalize their colored brethren? I'm sure you've heard anti-slavery societies denounced as fanatical that they publish abominable untruths and mean to incite slave rebellion in the South. Abolitionists know the greater the sin exposed, the more violent the slander against those who bring to light the hidden things of darkness. I lived in the midst of slavery, and I tell you that abolitionists have not overdrawn the monstrous features of slavery at all.
We could tell the sisters were succeeding by who they upset. <laughs> like the Massachusetts Council of Churches, which delivered an almighty scolding of the sisters in a letter published across the country. We invite your attention to the dangers which at present threaten the female character. The power of a woman is found in her dependence. She understands God made her weak and weakness is her shield. When she powers that God has granted. She becomes unnatural. 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 She becomes unnatural and degeneracy. Degeneracy, degeneracy and ruin are her lot. where women are degraded and brutalized, where they bleed under the lash, are sold, robbed of their hard earnings, torn from their husbands, and forcibly plundered of their virtue and their children. Surely, in such a country, it is very natural that women should wish to know the full truth of these abuses. We do not and cannot concede the position that because this is a political subject, women ought to fold their hands in idleness and close their eyes to the horrible things that are practiced in our land. The time has come for women to move in that sphere which providence has assigned her and no longer remain satisfied in the circumscribed limits which corrupt custom and a perverted application of scripture have assigned her. It is the duty of woman to plead the cause of the oppressed and to do all she can to overthrow the horrible system of American slavery. Is this an anti-slavery movement? Or is it a women's movement? It is a movement the real keys have to bear. They are not healthy. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Your example does so much for women, Angelina. Stay true to Abelina. And let other women make the women speeches. Can't you see? 
many months of hiding their feelings, Theodore and Angelina finally admitted that they were crazy about each other. They planned their wedding the week before the grand opening of Pennsylvania Hall in a wedding ceremony attended by black and white. Theodore and Angelina pledged themselves to one another and flew in the face of convention by declaring themselves to be equal in marriage. One week after the wedding, we were all at Pennsylvania Hall for the second annual National Convention of Anti-Slavery Women.
Yeah. 